everyone. I am so excited to see you again. Thank you so much for coming to Miss Patty Cake's Corner. I am Miss Patty Cake and I also would like to explain to everyone that I am a member of the Atomic Aces, a pinup social club that's always accepting new members. So if you're interested, make sure you go check them out. Um, today we're going to be doing a fun video about hair scarves. Okay, so I know that there are tons and tons of tutorials that you could go and watch about this. So if you're watching, thank you for watching my tutorial on how to tie hair scarves in different ways. So there are lots of different types of vintage scarves. There are these kinds and this is more of a long rectangle type shape. It doesn't open up into anything else. Clearly you can see it's pretty long. So these are the types of scarves that you can tie around your neck as a cute little ascot. You can tie it to the side just to give your outfit a little extra pop. Um, you also can tie it as a headband around your cute little bumper bang. And in case you are a fan of this hairstyle I am sporting right now, this will also be in an upcoming video that I am planning on making. It's pretty much the easiest way to do a bumper bang. And so I feel everyone should be able to have access to that. So this would be secured with bobby pins, make sure you conceal them because you don't want everyone to see those. But here is how you can tie this around your head as a cute little scarf. You can also tie it around a purse, wear it as a belt. I wouldn't with this outfit just because it's lime green, but you could tie it at your empire waist. I just like to add bows to everything. It's not really necessary, but I just think it makes it look so much cuter. There we go. And you can fluff it up and wear it however. I would probably do that more with a dress and obviously not a rockabilly look just because that's not typically that style. So here is another one that's similar to that. You know, it's not really a square. It's more of a rectangle. And you can tie this one the same way. The other one was just kind of folded in half so that it was more uh, small, you know, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes words don't uh, like me very much <laughs> or I don't like them. So this is one of my favorite hair scarves that I own. It's a true vintage and for some reason I just wear it a lot. Probably because it's black and it goes with everything. So the three different ways that I'm going to show you how to tie these are to um, one, conceal your, or not really conceal, bleh, whatever, it's fine, moving along, ha, to um, keep those rollers in place if you're doing a wet set overnight, which is when you set your hair with rollers for my beginner friends. So for that, you would take a square, ooh, a square scarf like this. I always take the part that has the tag on it to try to conceal that. You connect it to its other side counterpart to make a triangle. Flatten that out. And then you're gonna take your long straight end and that's gonna go to the back of your head right here I always kind of end up tipping it forward it's not gonna look right because I have a bun and not hair rollers but you'll get the point and that's what matters so you will take the top that had our little tag and that's gonna be oh well maybe not <laughs> that's gonna be at the front of your face okay so that will be with the second fold when I can get it right. <laughs> Outtakes, bloopers, they're fun. I'm gonna keep these in just cause it's fun to laugh at yourself. And if you can't laugh at yourself, then well, 
you need to start. <laughs> okay, so here we go, one more time. The long end will be at the back of your neck. The front part of the triangle, the top of your triangle will go right here. So when you're going around the rollers, you'll take your two long ends and do the start of the tie, keeping this front point down, flip it back, and then you can do your cute little bow. And this is just to make sure your roller stays secure when you have them in your hair. You don't want them moving around very much when you're sleeping because then your set is not gonna turn out right. And um, yeah, you just want them to stay secure and it helps if you end up having to use a hair dryer. For me, um, when I do a wet set, sometimes I still have wet hair when I wake up just because my hair dries funky. And so when they're in this scarf secured, it's easier to blow dry them so they're not moving around as you're blow drying and losing the curls that you've formed. So here you go, just to take a little bit of a closer look. This is how it will look. So that's one way you can do that and it ends up looking just like a cap over your head. Yep. So that is how to keep your curlers in place. So hair scarves are a must in case you're planning on setting your hair. Now another way, this is um, more of for this type of hairstyle, this is what I like to do for my rockabilly looks to tie a cute little bow with your bandana around your head. So you'll start off with the triangle that we had before. Then you will meet the tip of your triangle to the long straight line in the back. And I like to make it just really nice and smooth. And then you fold it one more time in half. So it ends up just looking like one of the straight long rectangles that we had. But if you can find one in a color you like, then use whatever you like. So you will tuck it behind the bang when you're tying your bow. I always secure with bobby pins behind my ears so that they're less noticeable. Um, and if you can in between the layers as well, that's probably optimal. And then I tie a cute bow. That's it. It's pretty easy. Honestly, I may be overcomplicating it by giving you all these steps, but just so that you have a breakdown, I feel it's important. So there you have it. You can tuck these behind if you want more of the loops to stand out. But there you go. Okay, one last way to tie this scarf. And this one is probably my favorite way. Let's fix that bun back there. <laughs> it's getting a little knocked around. So it's almost the same way that we just did the last one, except you don't do that extra step to fold it in half again. And I like this one more just because I feel like it looks neater when you're covering more of the surface area between the bun and your bangs. I'm gonna do this one with this maroon scarf just so it pops a little more and you can see it better. This one's very thin because it's extremely old. So again, you're gonna go to that triangle that we talked about. You're gonna bring this top part to the back and it's gonna make a thicker rectangle. Move it to the base of your head. Bring it up and tie it around.
one day I'm going to learn how to do this in reverse to where it doesn't look crazy on the camera. <laughs> Any tips for that, make sure you put that in the comments below too. <laughs> so here you have it. And this obviously is sliding around my head, so that's another reason why you want to secure it. But as you see, it covers more area. And I just think it gives it a neater look. So here you go, a close up. And there you have it. So if you have any questions or any other ways to tie scarves, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Give us a like, a subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming to Miss Patty Cake's Corner. See you soon. Take care.